Did you know that all MicroTik access points can act as routers? Let's take a quick look at the routing part. In this example, we have two subnets, LAN1 and LAN2, and two routers between them. Our goal will be to establish IP connectivity between both networks. Routers themselves use routing tables to see where the destination network is located. In some scenarios, a single router may not know the full path, but it doesn't need to. It just needs to forward traffic to a router that does know. All right, let's see our network setup in this scenario. Our goal is to connect LAN1 and LAN2. In our setup, LAN1 will be this laptop, and LAN2 will be this laptop. And these two MicroTik devices will be the routers between them. They have uh, Ethernet 1 going to laptop 2, and Ethernet 1 going to laptop 1 here as well. Uh, you can see the IP addressing in uh, the diagram above. And that's it. Let's get to configuring now. All right, uh, we are on HAP AC3. As you can see, we have uh, our LAN IP address here. And on RB5009, we have our LAN address here as well. And both routers are connected via Ether2 cable here, and they are in the same subnet. So that means that uh, these routers can contact each other directly. No problems. Uh, now we see our route list. We see that there are two routes on uh, each, each of the routers. Uh, they, they are directly connected routes, and A stands for active routes. That means that this uh, MicroTik device, it can ping this laptop, and it can ping this router board as well. What we need to do is that our laptop one can ping laptop two, which, we, which means we need to uh, add a routing table entry uh, for the laptop's two subnet. All right. <clears throat> so destination address is 192.168.77.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
IP route, print where, IP address, and destination address. Thanks for watching and subscribe to see more videos like this.